About once a quarter, I have conversations with the Chief Constable. One of the key parts of my job is to hold the Chief Constable to account that she's delivering what the community want to keep them safer through her operational police plan, which is hers to develop. This is the first year of the three years I've been here where I've been able to uh, deliver extra resourcing to the front line of policing and very specifically through the local precept, additional funds for local policing and to challenge the Chief Constable about what positive impact that extra money will do to keep them safer in their local communities. First of all, it's great news uh, for all of our communities that this extra funding is available um, and you've made it available to us uh, and hugely grateful that it is all going on local policing as, as you say and I can describe what that means in practice. But of course I'll go on to discuss things that are in the news and things that are important to us here locally. Knife crime is a uh, risk that everybody must be aware is too high at the moment. Young people especially are vulnerable. I want to move on now to a very topical operational issue. Um, we've recently seen and heard a lot about in the news that of knife crime. As you say, Commissioner, this is very much in the headlines and rightly so nationally, uh, but we are you know, equally concerned about it. But many of the concerns of the communities that I serve and individuals in those communities are about antisocial behaviour, about criminal activity from those who are at the start of disrupting the safe lives that people live. And so it is a wide-ranging conversation and we will address those issues. Uh, I'm concerned that it may lead to a sense that the police are withdrawing from our communities if, if it means that lower crime isn't responded to. Nothing could be further from the truth and that, that does uh, dismay me. Um, and there's numbers of kind of aspects of, of my answer to it, Commissioner, because it, it is something that, that troubles me. So what today I hope will have given you is a sense that this year, for the first time with the council tax, the Chief Constable will be enabled to make inroads into improving service in the local areas to all the districts. But I think the answers from the Chief Constable will describe why operationally Hampshire remains a good constabulary and why the work that she and I do together is about keeping everybody safer and never giving up on the risks that still remain.